the second Tuesday in honor of St. Dominic. He was called by his contemporaries, the Happy Friar, and in reading the testimonies at his canonization, we understand that he always appeared cheerful and happy. I know that when I was exploring religious life, the aspect of our order that attracted me the most was the joy of our sisters. It was a joy that is and was deep and personal, very different from the happiness the world promises but can't deliver. It was a heart full of love of God that enabled Dominic to praise and to preach with vehemence. Dominic, whom his followers noted, preached by day and prayed by night, was truly a people person. Blessed Jordan, Dominic's successor as master of the order, had this to say about our founder, and I quote, everybody was enfolded in the wide embrace of Dominic's charity, and since he loved everyone, everyone loved him. He made it his own business to rejoice with those who were rejoicing and to weep with those who wept. Whether he was preaching to the masses, converting innkeepers, or patiently correcting his followers, Dominic joyfully expressed his love for God and without hesitation shared that love with others. There was power in his presence and it was through his joy, his peace, um, and his personal attention to others. It was no superficial or artificial expression of joy. Dominic saw the world as it was and he did not sugarcoat the challenges he faced. He saw clearly that God was in charge and would use him to shed light and grace. The key to his joy was a sincere trust in divine providence. So what is the source of Dominic's joy? And what can that say to us today? It was the fact that Dominic knew that he was loved by God. And this brought a joy that could not be contained. God is love and that love is real and it is personal to each one of us. So what else could possibly matter? We are called to imitate his simplicity of heart, his trust in divine providence, even when we're judged worthy to suffer for Christ. Like Dominic, we're called um, to further the kingdom of God and we're called to do so with the joy of the Lord. We do so so much more effectively when that joy can be seen in the smile on our face, uh, in our, the compassion that we show to others and, and our attitude toward the challenges that life brings us.